Hello, I'm Juan and I'm a third year physics student here at Imperial College London. And I'm Carmen, I am also a third year student, but I study mechanical engineering. And we are here to talk about our experience in Imperial College and what that entails. So yeah, to begin with Juan, why Imperial College London? So one of the main reasons why I chose to come to Imperial was that it was one of the best universities all around the world. And one of the main reasons that I find Imperial uh, that it's really good is it's multicultural environment. You get to meet people from different cultures, different countries, and you get to do friends from all our, all different backgrounds. And I think that is really good for yourself. So why did you choose to come here as well? I mean, I totally agree with you. I think it's such a great opportunity to meet people from literally all over the globe. It's, it's an incredible experience being here at Imperial. So Juan, back when you were applying to Imperial College, how was that process? How, how did it go for you? So as m most of the people, I applied through UCAS and I studied in a Spanish school. So I applied with my marks from the Spanish baccalaureate and I've always known that I wanted to do physics and I applied to, to Imperial College as my main option. So three weeks after applying, I got an email saying that I got an interview to come here and to know the environment and get to know the people. So it was a really good experience. I got to know people that, are, um, that were my age and that we're also doing the interview that are some of them are also my my colleagues now why did you decide to go to mechanical engineering yeah well mechanical engineering is one of the broadest disciplines that there are so we do a very wide range of subjects um we do maths we do stress analysis we do thermofluids sounds scary but um if you liked maths a level and physics a level you'll be just fine we also combine these technical subjects with laboratories and projects. I am currently working on building a Mars rover and this is the most exciting thing. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, in third year as well, you start to choose your own subjects and you get to decide what you want to specialize in. And this is a great opportunity to do subjects that aren't as technical. For example, this year, as well as with stress analysis and other subjects like that, I've chosen design, art and creativity, which is a uh, a great opportunity to choose something that's more creative and different. I am also doing finance and I know some people are doing languages as well. I think Juan, you were doing a language this year as well? Yeah, for example, this year I'm, do I'm taking Chinese classes and two years ago I did German. And one great thing about Imperial is that apart from the subjects that you're taking in your degree, you can do subjects from totally different areas. So for example, uh, you can go from languages to finances as you're doing psychology, philosophy, these classes are called Horizons and they're really good because they broaden your knowledge in different areas that you couldn't take inside of your degree. That's imperial support you in other different ways. Yeah, definitely. I feel like we are um, we're very fortunate in that Imperial has so many support systems throughout campus and the departments. Um, for example, they've got counseling services and and dis disability advisory services as well. In terms of academic endeavors, they've got um, career services, which I, I have personally used, where they help you. They, they give talks to help you get internships, for example, or how to apply. They, could, they do one-on-one -on -one sessions to discuss your CV and to help you prepare. There's also a student hub where students can ask any problems that they have relating to student life, which I have also used as well. And, you know, going back to being at Imperial and being in London, how how do you like life in London? What sort of activities do you do? The good thing of London is that it's kind of Imperial. It's a multicultural community. London has plenty of different cultures all around. And London, ha as I call it, is a never ending city. Anytime you go to a place, even if you know it, so for example, Piccadilly Circus, Tower Bridge, you get to discover different things from that place. That's why I, I love London. You get to go everywhere, discover new places all the time. And it's a really cool city. And apart from that, for students as, as we are, it's a really student-friendly city. Apart, it has plenty of restaurants and it has plenty of pubs and clubs that apart from studying, it's also important to have some time for yourself and some time to have fun while you're studying in university. I feel like a, a big part of social life and social life at Imperial is all of the clubs and societies that Imperial offers. Um, there is a club for it. There's academic societies, but there's also cultural societies and sports societies, food societies, um, charitable, religious. There's honestly something for 
everyone and it's such a great opportunity if you find yourself here at imperial i strongly recommend that you join a society it's a great way to meet people and to have fun so for example in the spanish society we try this year we try to organize online events so one of the main ones that we did was during the first week of of the year that it's called freshers week we organized a, uh, an event that is called maps and that's where people from first year also called freshers get to know people from higher years so they get to know how life is and also to get to know the Spanish community here in Imperial. Before you wrap it up, do you have any tips or advice for anyone watching this who might want to apply to Imperial College in the future? So as I've been saying before, Imperial is great. It's one of the best universities in the world and the people are amazing. The degrees are really well structured. So I think Imperial is great and my main advice is to join Imperial. <laughs> <laughs>